guys? It's JL Folks from Road Angler TV. I've been getting all kinds of questions about my kayak and how I modify it. Uh, people want to know about the GoPro mounts, the kind of paddle I use, different stuff like that. So I decided to take some time out today and kind of do a rundown of my fishing kayak setup. This is my uh, Seaghost 110 by Vibe Kayaks. Check it out. All right, starting at the front of the boat. One of the first things I installed was a rope here. And all I did was uh, attach it to the handle. If you're like me and you do a lot of river runs and different stuff like that, uh, you're going to be dragging, especially when the river's low. So definitely uh, attach a rope. These uh, Vibe kayak handles work perfect. They're very sturdy, so that's where I attach mine. Uh, next, we got the floating net. I believe this is by Primar. Uh, this is great for uh, netting bass. Uh, this is all rubber, so you don't have to worry about like treble hooks getting caught on it. And it floats, so it's great for uh, scooping lunkers. This front hatch is typically where I store valuables. See, like right now I got my, my straps, and this is all uh, watertight, so you don't have to worry about getting any water in here. Uh, sometimes I keep my phone in there, I keep my wallet in there, knowing that it's going to stay dry. So that's probably the most driest place on the kayak. So that's usually uh, where I store all my valuables. Here we've got the first GoPro mount. This is a uh, Camera Boom 600 by Railblazer. Now this swivels around so you can do it all kinds of uh, different angles. You can do a full 360 with it. but. This is typically where I keep it for getting my front angle shots, like when I'm talking to the camera and showing off a fish or whatever. Or you can put it in the front like this and get a straight ahead shot. Or you can turn it around like this and you get a front row shot, you know, like the direction you're going. Great for like going down rapids, different stuff like that. It's super easy to mount it. You just mount it to the top loading gear tracks that vibe has on the sea ghost super easy to install it locks in place take it off you just press unlock comes right off like that but uh super easy to snap back in lock it in place you're ready to go now this is a very cool paddle by vibe i recently upgraded to this probably about six months ago uh it's been great for me it paddles really well it attaches right onto the sea ghost Definitely recommend one of Vibe's paddles. Next we got the Vibe seat. I've got two tackle boxes. I always usually carry two tackle boxes with me. Um, I'll typically keep hard baits and hooks and stuff in those. And then I'll keep my soft plastics in the Versa console just because they're easy to take out. Somebody asked me recently about the seat and how well it paddles, you know, if, how sturdy it is, you know, how stable. Um, it's got two positions, high and low. I typically keep it in the low position, but uh, you can put it in the high position. I haven't really tried it too much, but I kind of like sitting a little lower in my kayak. But that's just kind of like what I do. But a really great and comfortable seat. It does fold down all the way, so you can do different stuff like that. All right, back here I have my Yak Attack Boom Stick. This is what I use for all my cool back angle shots. The way I have it mounted is pretty simple, just four screws into the kayak. It doesn't leak at all, so it's been pretty good for me. Um, it's attached to a Brocraft mount, but super simple, just four holes straight in. I use a GoPro Hero 6 on the back, and I use a GoPro Hero 5 on the front. Both you can get pretty cheap now. I also have two GoPro floaties on each one. These are pretty cheap as well, but uh, it's really good just in case somehow this came off or broke off, like a tree limb or something. Uh, at least I don't lose my GoPro and my mount. I, I have that cool floaty on there. Back here I have my Yeti Hopper Flip Cooler. It fits right into this uh, crate. The cooler is pretty good. It's got some pouches here on the crate, came with them. This is one by Yak Gear. It's also got two rod holders. I typically fish with three rods, uh, two bait casters and a spinning rod. I also have uh, floats on each one of my rods. 
which is good for the river trips. I don't gotta worry about losing my rods. Back here we have the rudder. I usually deploy it when there's heavy current or wind, but most of the time I don't even deploy it. I just keep it up like that. But uh, definitely comes in handy on those windy days. There's the Sea Ghost 110 decal. In the middle, we have the Versa console. Flips up, or you could take the whole thing off. Got gear tracks on it. It's got a magnet right there. You can just stick lures on or whatever. Got the pedals for the rudder. Transducer goes down in there for a fish finder. As far as PFDs go, I use the NRS Chinook. This is one of the best PFDs out there on the market. Uh, you have the option to get the cool uh, co-pilot knife. It's got a bottle opener on it, and it's also dull on one side and sharp on the other. So it's great for like emergencies if you're stuck under something you need to cut. It's great to have. And uh, it's great to like cut line with, being right here. It's real easy to access. Um, I keep uh, soft plastics and stuff usually in these pockets. And I'll sometimes keep my phone in here, or clippers here, or granola bar. So it's really a great thing to have. And wearing a PFD is almost like wearing a seat belt. It's something that I just instinctively put on every time I go fishing. And it's great to have. It'll definitely help keep you safe. So think about it. The NRS Chinook. This is my kayak cart. It's real simple. You just lay the kayak on top and you strap it down. And uh, this makes it great going over like gravel, different stuff like that, so you don't have to uh, scratch up your kayak. So I forget the name and brand of this one, but I'm definitely going to find one that's similar to this and put the link in the description so you guys can check that out too. Alright guys, that is my Vibe Sea Ghost 110 fishing kayak setup. Uh, if you're interested in anything on this boat, check out the description of this video. I have all the links there for you. If you're interested in a Vibe kayak, visit VibeKayaks.com. or Check out the links I also have for those in the description. Uh, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace!